Ladies and gentlemen, Kane Brown sits to chat with Bennett from Most Requested Live. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. How good you doing? Have you, yeah, good to have you back on the show. Uh, how's life been for you, man? Busy. Three babies. <laughs> I'm trying to fit working out on the schedule, doing shows, doing music, family time. It's been It's been crazy. I was about to say, like, how are you balancing having such a summer smash, the tour, a baby got three kids under five? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you, no do time. you hate sleep? Do you hate sleep? <laughs> no, I've actually, you know, I, I, I did have to cut out uh, video games. But um, other than that, it's been it's been nice, you know, kind of figuring out the schedule and, and sticking to it. But there's never never any downtime, which makes the days fly by. I bet. Uh, we'll talk about Miles on it, man. Congrats on this song. Did you know that you had something special when you were working on this with Marshmallow? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just, I, I could tell because, you know, he was excited about it. And when there's two artists that are excited about it, then I don't feel like there's anything that can go wrong because both teams are going to be pushing it and uh, both fan bases are going to be loving it. Um, so it was nice. Um, whenever, whenever we got it done in the studio, I was excited to put it out and it actually i think succeeded our expectations that's amazing yeah we love playing it it's almost like when you know you have something that good it's like giving a gift on christmas you're like you just can't wait to give that present out you know what i mean it's like i got something up my sleeve here uh and you're, yeah, thanks so, for playing it. yeah man for sure and you're also on the uh the twister soundtrack which i love uh because it's kind of like the avengers of country artists right it's like everyone's yeah. thing country classic it's a banger um talk about being on that project as well uh it was cool um i didn't know you know what song to give them uh you know country classic was one that that i really liked because it threw you know a lot of old famous songs um into one song i knew i wasn't going to put it on my album so it was perfect to, to pitch to them um and i was excited to be on that project with so many other artists and that album is actually killing it right now so i think it could it could go down as one of those you know albums of uh of the history, I guess, with all yeah. the, the artists that are on it. Absolutely. Like a really classic, no pun intended, but, uh, you know, soundtracks, right? It's like, I love yeah. a soundtrack. Have you seen the movie? I haven't yet. I can't wait, though, because I, I love the original. <clears throat> um, don't get, I don't have much time to go to the movies anymore. Mm, um, <laughs> yeah, the last time I went to the movies, I saw the uh, a Quiet Place, and then I watched uh, the new Bad Boys, but I haven't been back since. Yeah, you got to see the you got to see the new movie. It's it's really good. I was a, a big fan of the original too. Like I oh, yeah. like that. So it's they they do it justice. They they do it good. Uh, nice. I also want to talk about uh, the song that I, I think that you're you're teasing on your Instagram story. I, I took a peek at that yesterday. What are you what are you teasing over there on Instagram? Oh yeah. Um, no song, my wife. Which we we have like four, but I've been dying for that one to come out. No, it's called Body Talk. Um, and she just actually gets to, to showcase her beautiful vocals. And I think it's just going to be another another banger. And it's completely different from Thank God. Um, and then we have another one that's going to be on the album that's like a super uh, like Randy Travis, Carrie Underwood type vibe. So I just love that, you know, I get to showcase what I love, just music in general. And she gets to showcase that she can do the, the same thing. And, you know, her voice is just immaculate and i can't wait to share it with the world so good yeah and you two together uh it's just incredible do you have a, a release date for the song or for the album do we have do we have dates in place yet or uh not yet man i'm i'm we're actually having a song meeting today for the album so uh figure out what songs we're gonna have on there what songs we're not gonna have on there and um we would have already leased Body Talk, but we, she was pregnant. And so we would have to, you know, shoot a music video. And she's like, I'm not shooting this, <laughs> like a sexy music video while I'm pregnant. So <laughs> she's trying to, she's trying to get back in gym shape. Uh, and then we'll shoot the music video for it. That's exciting. It's, it's all good things. Uh, well, let's talk about the new baby. Uh, three kids. Uh, how is dad life? And how's the balance? I mean, you said that your schedule is, is pretty crazy with, you know, a tour going on. Um, have you found that balance or is like every day kind of a work in progress? Um, well, so it's, it's kind of a work in progress because like during the day when I'm home, it's, it's easy. Um, but crew, my son's too small to travel right now. Um, 
especially as far as I'm going, because I'll be going to the West Coast uh, for two weeks coming up here. So they're, they're staying at home with just Kate, but luckily our nanny's staying the night with her. Um, but it's three kids and two, and usually when I'm here, it's, you know, three kids, and we have three people here. So it's one kid a person. That's true. Um, Man-to-man defense. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's been it's been easy when I'm home. I can only imagine whenever it's just uh, them two here. But it's they've they've made it seem like it was a breeze. And how's how's tour life been going? We've been following you on you know TikTok and Instagram. The shows look insane. Um, what's been the highlight so far for you? Uh, we just played Fenway. That was such a fun show. We ended up catching the stage on fire by accident. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah uh but other than that it's been awesome um i've just loved touring recently i've when i first you know when i first started out it's crazy to say i think it was like eight years ago now um i was more of a studio artist i just love being in the studio now i can't stand the studio i'd rather just be on stage in front of everybody and and just having fun and you know making the crowd forget about what's going on in the world and things like that you can tell right uh just from the footage we see online and the pyrotechnics and your vocals and the crowd yeah people come up on stage and singing with you you're signing prosthetic yeah. things i mean it just looks like a giant party i always wondered though like how are, how are you when you get off stage like when the madness is over right how do you come down from that high we don't we uh we go back to the green room and we you know we party we play well we play water pong we don't play beer pong we don't play we play water pong. Uh, I have a, a, like I said, I love video games. So we have a streaming setup backstage. So we'll usually turn my stream on and uh, jam out the music, play water pong on the stream. I usually have some special guests, uh, like big time gamers, like Tim the Tapman, um, Bobby Poff, Cloxy. They've, they've been in the streams a couple of times. And uh, it's really just fun. I remember one time we had 24,000 people on the stream watching us after oh the God. show. So it was, it was, it was just fun, man. We always, we, we always use the energy um, after stage to do something. I'm about to say, like, you can't get off stage off that rush and like go read a book and have some tea, right? Like, you know what I mean? No, it's like, <laughs> no. It's like you can't. Talk me about uh, just country music in general. I mean, you got you got this uh, summer banger miles on it. Like I was saying, like we love playing it. But I feel like country right now in general is such. Is it an all time high right now? Like, do you feel that? It's just fun, right? Um, yeah. You know, I've, I've, and I've been talking to a lot of radio people um, in the country music world, and I've been writing these um, 90s country songs, and that's what we're going to talk about today, actually, that, um, like, took us all day to write, you know, like, eight, nine hours. Um, the lyrics are just immaculate, and show them to some radio people, and they're like, man, it's a beautiful song that used to work back in the day. But we, it's not it's not working today. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, this is what I've been, you know, trying to get. And uh, so now it's like everything. But but everything on the radio these days in country is just fun and up-tempo. And they're party songs. Like, you go to a party, you used to not hear country music. And now it's, it's everything that's playing. So um, I have uh, three or four that I'm really excited about that's going to go on this album. And then I'm also going to mix it in with some of these uh, slower really um well-written country songs and see how that goes but so far I, I think that this will be my favorite album that i released that's exciting it sounds like a, a nice balance right it sounds like you have to you know the heartfelt stuff and then the, the bangers that you know we've grown accustomed to you know with you so i'm excited to hear it yeah yeah i'm pumped man i got i got a lot of them i haven't really teased like i usually do i usually always tease every song i think i've only teased two um, one last night, uh, the body talk, um, which is not a country song. And then, uh, um, backseat driver that I have for my daughter. That's also just a really well-written song, kind of like a Rodney Atkins. That's so cool. I love that. You know, we always kind of close that with these interviews and I love asking, you know, singer songwriters, this, the song you wish you wrote, is there a song that has come out recently that you kind of drew inspiration from? Um, Man, recently, it doesn't have I mean, honestly, to be. Honestly, well, the song that I wish I had written was uh, "Almost Home" by Craig Morgan, mm. or uh, "Don't Take the Girl" by Tim McGraw. I love those two songs. Uh, recently, I, I don't usually listen to um, a lot of songs that come out because I'm if I'm working on my album, uh, I usually just listen to my the songs that I'm about to release. 
Uh, but recently, I've been loving Shibuzi. He's been killing it. Um, the Post, Mo Post Malone, Morgan Wallen song has some help. That one's fire. Um, low key, nobody even knows this. Uh, been listening to, uh, uh, what is it? My daughters love it. Um, Sabrina Carpenter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's been gas recently. That please, please, please has been stuck in my head like crazy. Right? Uh, I love the melody. The melody's sick. Um, but yeah, I'd say those off the top of my head. Yeah, I found myself doing a workout to Sabrina Carpenter songs. I was like, what's going on right now? But I was like, <laughs> yeah. espresso, that's a jam too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great pool song. Right? Yeah. Um, man, hey, so good to, uh, to catch up a little bit and have you back on the show. Uh, Miles on it is just crushing it. Uh, country classic and you know we just can't wait to hear what you got next on this new album so appreciate the time man yes sir good talking to you